Do you want to join the world of charity? I'm going to visit Mumalin, a lady who is working with children from different backgrounds and different problems. Hi. I'm Glory. Hello, Glory. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Welcome to Light in Africa. Thank you very much. Light in Africa uh, is a children's home. We take care of children who are severely malnourished, who are carrying the virus, uh, also disabled children, children with special problems, creme babies. So right from birth, and our older children now are all at boarding school. How do you feel that you are now having them in the centre, playing with them? It is all about the heart, Dada. That's why we only want staff here who have the heart to work with these children because it's no good even if they have a master's degree but if they do not have the heart to work with these children then that is absolutely no good whatsoever yeah you're traveling all the way from england to tanzania wait tanzania i was walking down the street and i heard this voice in my head say go to africa and i thought where did that come from and their next question was Africa is a very large continent, Mama. Where exactly would you like to go? The only thing that I could, came into my mind was that I corresponded with a pastor in a place called Moshi in Tanzania for six years. And I said, take me to the nearest airport to a place called Moshi in Tanzania. So I went back, I made a decision to sell everything I owned and to come back. Um, why did you decide to work with children, not something uh, else? My profession in the UK was a social worker for the deaf. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I was an interpreter for the deaf. And then after that, I took care of uh, children with, uh, uh, with severe behavioural problems. Why children? Not you are finding it very difficult, aren't you, to understand <laughs> this concept. So it's not just the children I work with. I work with elderly people also. How many children do you have? I had three children of my own and after that I came out here. And what, what, what happened if you have to go back to your country leaving these children here? Over the last seven years we've been training up people to take over from me. Because these children are your children and they are your future. And if one child dies, that is generations of the next Tanzanians who die. happen if you won't get the food to feed this children? I don't believe that, that we will never ever get the food. Why? Because God is our provider. He has provided for the last 10 years. It costs me a thousand dollars a week just for food alone to feed all these children in the care of light in Africa. So anything to reduce that cost has got to benefit light in Africa. <laughs> Do you have any project currently going on here? Yes, we have uh, three projects underway at the moment involved in building water towers which will provide 10,000 litres of water which will go all the way through our 12-acre site. And so can I take you to show you this uh, project? Sure. Can I introduce you to Pastor Frank, who yeah. will be able to give you more detailed information. He's project Hello. manager. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, nice to meet you. Me too. Mm. Do you think the tank will be enough to supply the water to all children? Yes. Yes. Um, because of the height of the tower and the 10,000 litres to be enough pressure to supply down to the 12 acres of the land. When do you think it will be ready? Um, the project will, from now will take another three months for this to be complete and to set the tanks on top. And other 
taps will set to the houses, which will distribute the water to the plants around the houses on plants. Okay. Yes. You can There's have like a a mix, mixes, <laughs> mi mix of the <laughs> gravel and yes. concrete. You can mix the mortar. You better yes. get it. I mm -hmm. think so. <laughs> what you do? Can we do it together? Do it together? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just come and try. Uh oh. oh. You're not going to let me get away with it. Yeah. Okay. You should, okay. You should try. Yeah, you're strong. <laughs> Who gave you this idea of the tank? A young Dutchman who came as a volunteer called Jonathan. He came and he thought we could utilize the river which runs by the side of the houses uh, for this operation. My face is in the you like what you did? Yes. And what happens if there is no water to get this kind of vegetable? They will die. They will die? Mm-hmm. They will die. I think it's very important for children to, as they're growing to learn all manner of life skills. Not only gardening but uh, sewing and, and everything which will help them when they're adults. God bless you. Mungu akabariki sana. Asante. Mungu akubariki na wewe. Asante. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was an amazing day, I can tell you. I enjoyed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much and see you next time.